What's, What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, we're going back to Kim Jae Jung. Uh, we're going through the requests from Laura Lee through our Buy Me a Coffee program. And this next video is another cover. This is a song called Ultra Soul. Uh, we had to look this up. It's from a group called BZ or something mm. like that. Uh, and this is another Japanese performance. Uh, this is at Yokohama Stadium and Jejong singing a cover song. Yeah. So this let's is check it cool. out. We are now accepting priority music requests through our Buy Me a Coffee program. You can find the link in the description below. Send us a music prompt and we will get to it right away. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's the same place, right? Wow. It looks like it. Such a difference. It's yeah. more of like um, I don't know what the name of the, this the name of it. It's not rock. It's not pop. It's like a, like a punk. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It does feel a little like punk, punk rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a, a more of that kind of a feel. Right. Um, <laughs> the 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 close captions in this one don't seem to really work. We checked it out so we don't really know what he's saying but he's really saying it with some enthusiasm, enthusiasm and yeah. um we're getting a different kind of a feel here because we're yes. getting some pyrotechnics and the crowd is louder mm -hmm. and this is everybody's really into this yeah. um i had never heard of the group bz before mm -hmm. um so i i really don't know what this could even possibly be about right. but it maybe has the a little bit of the feel of like anime protagonist right. song something along there those lines go. i don't know Hmm. He's introducing his musicians, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. This drummer. Oh, wow, there's a lot of guitarists. <laughs> Keyboard. Daiju. Wow. 
second keyboardist. <laughs> Drummer. Hmm. Wow. It's interesting that he would choose a cover song to do the little mm -hmm. intros for his mm. band, but I like that he does it right yeah it's because it's uh it gives you a little bit more like you know get less to know ego him. yeah more humble. humble to you know include the artists exactly right behind him obviously yeah. he's not solo that he has this whole backup this band behind him yeah yeah i like that a lot um indeed mm -hmm. okay let's keep going go. Okay. Dang. All right. That ending was wild. Yeah. Because nowhere at the for the first you know two thirds of the song did the audience have any participation, but then all of a sudden everybody's in yes. it. With, yeah. This must have been a very popular song mm -hmm. for everybody to know right when to respond. Exactly. Um, it as we move through it, I felt more and more like it kind of felt like almost like a sea shanty yeah or you know something along those lines it, it's very interesting it, it was sort of hard to pin down mm -hmm. exactly what it was but it definitely had a lot of energy and it was cool especially mm -hmm. that ending with him popping off like that right i like that yeah well thank you again for turning into our channel don't forget to give you love and support too Kim J. Jong, his link will be in our description below. Thank you for your love and your support to our channel. We really appreciate you. Thank you for loving our channel, liking our videos to get the algorithm going. Share with your friends and family. Thank you for subscribing to our small, mighty channel to help us grow. Thank you again and see, see you in the, the next, next video. video.